Hey everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to my new video. My name is Tiago, I'm a painter and architect, and this video will be about the new painting I did of an alien. Yes, I have been having all of these visions of aliens that I love so much, and I have this big desire of doing an alien almost as if it was the evolution of human race. So almost as the we would look into the future and how our bodies would evolve in some extraterrestrial conditions and see how it would change over the course of time. And that was really interesting because I'm really inspired by the ancient alien theory. By the way, I watch that show all the time. And I really wanted to make something that captures all of my passion for that. And that is what I did in this painting. So I wanted her to look human. She's an alien, but I wanted her to kind of look human, have a very penetrating gaze and her eyes really alive looking at you. And I wanted you to feel her emotion. I wanted to make her a little bit wild, almost if you catch her in a glimpse and she was surprised to see you. This was a little bit different than what I used to do because I always tend to lean towards beauty and paint beautiful women. So this was kind of a, a little bit different because I had to make her with no hair, with veiny skull, a veiny elongated skull. But I still had to make her beautiful because otherwise I wouldn't be. <laughs> so I wanted to make her as beautiful as I possibly can, but still make her a little bit scary so that she can enter your dreams. And yes, that was my main goal for this one. It's basically all of my goals with my paintings is just bring the visions that I have into my head and bring them into matter so that you can experience them in our dimension. That's what I believe. I believe that they come from another dimension and then they're manifested. And as for the technique, I'm sure it will be shown somewhere around here. As for the technique, this one was actually a complete surprise. The technique just took over because I did it in black and white in a normal grisale like I usually do. And then I had planned, this is what happens with painting, sometimes you plan something and then things happen. I had planned to cover her with multiple glazes and give her kind of a cool toned flesh, but somehow something came over me and I started applying some really thick glazes of color, some really fake brush strokes and all of a sudden that changed the whole idea and feel that I wanted for her skin tone. So it was almost as if she wanted to be more human-like than what I had intended for her. So her flesh tones, because of that heavy glaze, turned out to be a lot more humanness than it was supposed to be. Isn't that interesting? You can see it in the video. You can see it in this speed video, how it was black and white, and all of a sudden, it's almost like I painted the whole thing orange. It just happened. Some things, sometimes these things happen, and it's okay. It's okay for us as artists or any creative individual to let the process take over. And in the end, I like it much better than what I had intended to. So it turns out great. Just let the process flow through you and use your hands to make it happen. Okay, and that is basically it. So the technique, grisale and glazes on top of it, and uh, it basically sums everything up. Okay, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you like this content, subscribe and turn the notification bell so that you always know when I upload new content. It's mostly every single week, okay? <laughs> so see you on my next video. Thank you.